Hello friends, uh, I'm back with part 3. Uh, this video also I'm going with good questions. So let's don't waste much time as we do. Let's move to our question number 41. A patient with recent stroke present with a impaired swallowing and difficulty with oral intake. Which of the following intervention would be the most appropriate to address this issue? Option A. Neuromuscular electrical stimulation. Option B. Thermal stimulation. Option C. Soloing exercises. Option D. Compensatory soloing techniques. And the answer is Option D. Compensatory soloing techniques. Now let's move to question number 42. A patient with osteoporosis reports experiencing back pain and a fear of falling during weight bearing activities. Which of the following intervention would be the most appropriate to address this issue? Option A. High impact aerobic exercises. Option B. Resistance training with free weights. Option C. Low impact weight bearing exercises. Option D. Tai Chi. And the answer is Option D. Tai Chi. Now let's move to question number 43. A 7 year old child has been diagnosed with osteogenesis imperfecta, that's brittle bone disease, and exhibit frequent fracture and muscle weakness. Which of the following physiotherapy intervention would be the most appropriate? Option A. High impact weight bearing exercises. Option B. Aquatic therapy and low impact exercises. Option C. Electrical stimulation for muscle strengthening. Option B. Constraint induced movement therapy. And the answer is Option D. Aquatic therapy and low impact exercises. Now let's move to question number 44. A 9-year-old child has been diagnosed with muscular dystrophy and exhibit progressive muscle weakness and difficulty with functional activities. Which of the following physiotherapy intervention would be the most appropriate? Option A. Strength training exercises. Option B. Aerobic exercise training. Option C. Energy conservation techniques and assistive devices prescription. Option D. Electrical stimulation. And the answer is... Option C. Energy Conservation Techniques and Assistive Devices Now let's move to question number 45. A patient with chronic low back pain reports difficulty performing prolonged sitting or standing activities due to discomfort. Which of the following intervention would be the most appropriate to address this issue? Option A. Traction Option B. Massage therapy Option C. Postural correction Option D. Ergonomic modification And the answer is Option D. Ergonomic Modification Now let's move to question number 46. A 6-year-old child has been diagnosed with cerebral palsy and exhibits spasticity and abnormal muscle tone. Which of the following physiotherapy intervention would be the most appropriate? Option A. Constraint Induced Movement Therapy Option B. Treadmill Training Option C. Stretching and Positioning Techniques Option D. Electrical Stimulation And the answer is Option C. Stretching and Positioning Techniques Now let's move to question number 47. A 8-year-old child has been diagnosed with Juvenile Idiopathic Arthritis JIA, and exhibit joint pain, swelling and stiffness. Which of the following physiotherapy intervention would be the most appropriate? Option A. High Intensity Resistance Training Option B. Constraint Induced Movement Therapy Option C. Joint Protection Strategies and Energy Conservation Techniques Option D. Electrical Stimulation And the answer is Option C. Joint Protection Strategies and Energy Conservation Techniques Now let's move to question number 48. A patient with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease that's COPD reports experiencing shortness of breath and fatigue during activities of daily living that's ADL. Which of the following intervention would be the most appropriate to address this issue? Option A. Inceptive spirometry Option B. Diaphragmatic breathing exercises Option C. High intensity interval training Option D. Inspiratory muscle training And the answer is Option B. Diaphragmatic Breathing Exercises Now let's move to question number 49. A 30-year-old woman has been diagnosed with dyspareunia, a condition characterized by pain during sexual intercourse. Which of the following physiotherapy intervention would be most appropriate? Option A. Pelvic Floor Muscle Training Option B. Vaginal Dilators and Desensitization Techniques Option C. Myofacial Release Technique Option D. All of the above and the answer is 
option D all of the above. Now let's move to question number 50. A 35 year old woman has been diagnosed with pelvic riddle pain during her pregnancy. Which of the following physiotherapy intervention would be the most appropriate? Option A pelvic tilt exercises. Option B transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation that stains. Option C pelvic support belts. Option D all of the above. And the answer is Option D all of the above. Now let's move to question number 51. A patient with recent cerebrovascular accident that stroke present with impaired motor control and coordination in the affected lower extremity. Which of the following intervention would be the most appropriate to address this issue? Option A. Constraint induced movement therapy. Option B. Proprioceptive neuromuscular facilitation. Option C. Body weight supported treadmill training. Option D. Mirror therapy. And the answer is Option C, body weight supported treadmill training. That's B W S T T. Now let's move to question number 52. A patient with osteoarthritis of the hip reports experiencing pain and stiffness during weight bearing activities. Which of the following intervention would be the most appropriate to address this issue? Option A, high intensity aerobic exercises. Option B, resistance training with free weights. Option C, low impact weight bearing exercises. Option D, hydrotherapy. And the answer is Option D, hydrotherapy. Now let's move to question number 53. A 40 year old woman has been diagnosed with pelvic additions following abdominal surgery for endometriosis. Which of the following physiotherapy intervention would be contraindicated? Option A, soft tissue mobilization technique. Option B, therapeutic exercises. Option C, myofascial release. Option D, therapeutic ultrasound. And the answer is Option D, therapeutic ultrasound. Now let's move to question number 54. A 32-year-old woman has been diagnosed with pelvic floor muscle overactivity following a traumatic vaginal delivery. Which of the following physiotherapy intervention would be the most contraindicated or would be contraindicated? Option A. Pelvic floor muscle training with biofeedback. Option B. Electrical stimulation therapy. Option C. Relaxation technique. Option D. Therapeutic ultrasound. And the answer is Option D. Therapeutic ultrasound. Now let's move to question number 55. A 40-year-old woman has been diagnosed with pelvic organ prolapse. Which of the following physiotherapy intervention would be the most appropriate? Option A. Pelvic floor muscle training. Option B. Pissary fitting. Option C. Abdominal bracing exercises. Option D. All of the above. And the answer is... Option A. Pelvic floor muscle training. Now let's move to question number 56. A patient with recent Achilles tendon repair reports experiencing difficulty with angle range of motion and functional mobility task. Which of the following intervention would be the most appropriate to address this issue? Option A. Continuous passive motion. Option B. Iondophoresis. Option C. Eccentric loading exercises. Option D. Cryotherapy. And the answer is Option C. Eccentric loading exercises. Now let's move to question number 57. A 75-year-old patient with history of osteoporosis presents with recent hip fracture. Which of the following physiotherapy intervention would be the most appropriate in acute phase of the recovery? Option A. Weight-bearing exercises. Option B. Bed mobility and positioning. Option C. Resistance training. Option D. Gait training. And the answer is Option B. Bed mobility and positioning. Now let's move to question number 58. A 32-year-old woman has been diagnosed with chronic pelvic inflammatory disease, that's PID. Which of the following physiotherapy intervention would be the most appropriate during an acute flare-up? Option A. Pelvic floor muscle exercises. Option B. Cryotherapy. Option C. Transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation. Tense. Option D. All of the above. And the answer is... Option C, transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation. That's tense. Now let's move to question number 59. 
a 35 year old woman has been diagnosed with pelvic organ prolapse which of the following physiotherapy intervention would be the most appropriate option a pelvic floor muscle training option b pissary fitting option c abdominal bracing exercises option d both a and c and the answer is option d both a and c now let's move to our last question 60th a 45 year old woman has been undergone a radial hysterectomy for cervical cancer and is experiencing lymphedema in her lower extremity which of the following physiotherapy intervention would be the most appropriate option a manual lymphatic drainage option b compression garments option c remedial exercises option d all of the above and the answer is option d all of the above so that's all for today if you have any doubts please comment in the comment box and explanation to each and every above questions is given in the description box and detailed explanation is given inside our telegram channel so please do check it out so till then bye bye see you